Hi everyone. In a previous Glide video where we took a look at how to how the attendance tracker was built. Uh, so in the how did they build that series? We took a look at attendance tracker and when we copied the template we noticed a bug. And so if I look at the app here, so I've copied this and replicated the bug once again. And so essentially what happens is when you click on a particular student and you mark the student has, let's say, present. The student um, in from the to be recorded section now goes into the present section. And then if I go onto the list of students and click on the same student again and mark the student as present once again. And then if I go to the home screen, I can see that that student is now appearing twice. So this is a bug. You don't obviously want the duplicate entries to be to be shown. Now, the when the present and absent button is clicked, we we'll, and and that's what we looked at in the previous video um, in in the series. We looked at it in the video that the action basically adds a record to the records table, and that's where all the entries are stored. And because we are getting all the all the entries from there, uh, we are not filtering the duplicates. So here's one solution. Um, then there might be another way to do this, obviously. But from what I could um, just quickly configure, I'm just recording that solution here at the moment. So if to remove these duplicates, what I did was essentially clicked on the list. Uh, so the to be recorded list is fine. We are just want to fix the absent and present list. So we click on that and then you can see that the source for this is the records table. But now if I look at the spreadsheet, I can see that in the students table, um, and this is something that we looked at in the previous video, is that the students table also has a link to the records table and then based on that it is actually calculating quite a few values and one of the values that it is calculating in one of the columns is today's status and today's status is if basically has record from today is true then we are setting that value else it is just an empty value and has record from today uh, checks if today is well if the value is within today so it already does the value for us it already does the logic for us and if you look at the app tomorrow um, these values will get um, because these are calculated values these will get cleared out so we should be able to reuse the same logic tomorrow as well so my plan was to just use those values instead of instead of the records sheet so if i select students um, the obviously the circles have all gone now so let me reconfigure that uh, for the title I'll select name and for the photo I'll select resolve photo so now it has showed me all the students I don't want all of them I want only the ones that have been marked as absent so if I go into the filters in the options tab go to the filters you can see there's a few filters configured what I want to do is I want to I'll remove this one here and I'll say if where the where today's status is absent. Right? All that's all I needed to change. And this has now pulled the right value. So for each student, because you're looking at the students table. Um, there's no duplicate values, there's no duplicate students, and students has a relation with the records column. So it's pulling all of the records, and then in one of the columns in the students table, uh, we are basically setting it to true and false if today has been marked, has, has been marked as a, the attendance has been marked, and then if it has been marked, what we're doing is we are, we are we are checking if it has been marked as present or absent and then that value we are storing it in another column so this is just using those values so have a look at this one here so present we have two students and the second one is repeated so let's fix that um, instead of the records table we'll select the students table 
set this to the name of the student set this to the resolve photo and then add the filter so the filter is where today's status is present and so this brings us these two values and obviously the name I'm just because of the sorting uh, David has gone second so that's it that's really the solution to um, or at least one of the solutions that I can I can think of right now is a solution to fix the the bug in this app and uh, remove all the duplicate entries uh, from from the absent and the present section and so now you have this uh, list which is only showing you unique student names that are being marked as absent and marked as present so now if I go on to let's say David again and mark it as present you can see there's duplicate entries here but if I go back uh, it does not show up again so this solution works for sure and if you do think of any other way to solve this problem let me know in the comments below but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, do subscribe to this channel so that you are um, any new videos that I post shows up on your feed and definitely let me know in the comments what you think of this video and if you have any other solutions so um, give it a thumbs up and you know the you know the rest of the drill so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos to come see ya